Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Me confusing my webcam because, you know, it's they work on the fly to do some things dynamically. And one of the things it does is, like, dynamic color correction. Because I don't have good enough lighting in this room, I just have two LED bulbs in, in a center fixture in the center of this room. This uh, camera gets so confused, it's not going to do it now, of course, because I think I mentioned it, but it'll flash between the two colors of green, between light green and dark green, because the low lighting, and I move around with my own incredibly white skin, and so it gets confused. Did I do this? I have... Howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here, and greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. It is 7.11 a.m., Monday, the 10th of April. Hokey smokes, goodness gracious, merciful sakes alive. I am so late. Very, very, very late. Normally, I start recording by 6.30. At the, at, try to do that at the very latest, because I've got to get stuff done. And, oy vey. I mean, I set my alarm for uh, 6 o'clock because I got to bed so late. It was uh, after 1 o'clock when I went to bed last night. Uh, I was just doing things. I had gone walking. I walked uh, to Walmart, bought a garment steamer. Garment steamers are incredible. I mean, they're freaking magic. Literal magic. I've been hanging my green screen for uh, over a week to try and just have gravity and all of that. My webcam software just keeps freezing again, so I don't know if this is actually working. Yay. But it's uh, I've been hanging it to try and work the wrinkles out for over a week, like almost two weeks. And it still had major wrinkles that just, gravity wasn't gonna do it. They were worked in. So I, took, uh, I got like a 20 or $30 garment steamer, not much. And uh, it's got a free, like a, maybe an eight ounce water reservoir so it doesn't do much but i uh steamed this thing holy smokes i mean it was not bad i could have green screened with it and there would have been imperfections and you would have noticed them eventually but they would they weren't bad at all but then I just took the the uh, first time I did it, this thing was hanging straight upside like this. So, you know, it's got great amounts of green screen up there and great amounts of green screen down here. And, oh, yeah, it just flicked the, the green color. <laughs> and so, see, there, see, that's how we do it. It's because my skin is much too white. I've got to get better lighting in here. Those bulbs up there just don't do it. But, uh, oh, gosh, what was I saying? Because that was so amusing. Oh yeah, I had it so it was way up there and then way down there and you know, it just barely off to the sides. You know, it had to be in a perfect place. But now, I, what I did was I went meow and then hung it sideways. And I can put it back behind it like this. I've zoomed it in one click because the corners, where it is, the corners up there, one corner, you can see the turn of it. I can't get it close enough with the lighting up there, so. Rather than show that imperfection, I just uh, zoomed in software-wise with one click, and now it's, uh, you can't see the corners. But, oh my gosh, you can't see any wrinkles. It was like I had the wand. It was like, um, you know, Lev, Le not Leviosa, but it's like Leviosa Wrinkola, and boom. It turned into dark tight and wrinkle free. Steam is amazing. Our universe is amazing. Our universe is just absolutely incredible. Science is wonderful. Physics is. More people should go into the sciences, but we're not going to be able to find that. Part of it is um, like in the. I was reading how in the poorest parts of the country, and I have to read about these things because I don't live there and otherwise they'd never know about it but in the poorest parts of the united states poverty is horrific i mean you have families of 20 people and you're making five thousand bucks in a 
maybe in a couple of years. And these people can't break the cycle of poverty because you take care of the previous generations. The person who had been interviewing all of these people asked one fellow, he said, why don't you leave? You know you can get a better life if you leave. And he said, well, if I do, who's going to take care of grandpa? And while he's got a good point, you know, it's that's up until the 1945 in the United States, we were extended families. People lived in extended families. But then after World War II, there was just a huge boom in prosperity in the United States. Huge boom. It created the middle class between poverty and, and you know, richness, which had never been there before. I mean, you always had nothing or you were a lord. And then at that point, it went and it created the middle class. There ain't much of a middle class left. And uh, the people that have climbed up into the 1% have always made sure to pull the ladders up behind them after they've climbed. So there's very, very few opportunities to become one of the 1%. Because every time somebody does it, they pull up the ladders so that no one else can get there. Very, very few avenues left. And so it's, but these people can't even move out on their own because who's going to take care of grandpa? You can't just leave him to die. And of course they live in states where there is no social safety net because Republican governors and all that are just say, well, if you can't take care of it on your own, well, uh, bye bye. And so they're stuck. They're the poorest states. They get, you know, they, they desperately need money and nobody will give it to them. So that's wonderful. I, of course, have always lived on the lower, well, up, in, up until I was 20 years, years old, I was like lower upper class. We didn't live in poverty, but we weren't, we didn't have enough money to like live in a, I mean, I lived half of my life until I was 20 in the house that my grandfather built. And after that, I moved out, <laughs> you know, so I've been out of my own. But after that, you know, I moved out here straight down into poverty. So uh, on my own, I'm like the black sheep of uh, the family. I've never really made anything of myself. I mean, everybody else, you know, all of my, my stepfather, because he's my stepfather, I call him father and all that because he's been my father. He's been my father figure. He hasn't been my uh, sperm donor. My first, my first, my mother's first husband. She's had three. And uh, the la she was, uh, she married her current husband, the guy that I call father, when uh, he was 40 and he's like 80 something now. So they, they fit together. But, uh, Gosh, what was I going to say on that one? Oh, Fibro, come on. Don't take it away from me. Don't take it away from me. Yeah. Well, he's... Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was talking about it's... So, he's the... He's her third husband. Their first, she divorced before uh, I was even a year old. So, if it... My name used to be Kirk. And after I went into the Air Force, if I had gone in and become an officer, I would, of course, become, become Captain Kirk. But uh, that didn't happen, so my sperm donor's uh, last name was Kirk. And then she married another man, and his last name was Robin. And he was a horrible, 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 horrible person. The only person that uh, I've actually ever hated. And uh, when he died... He's the only person that I've ever said good about. I don't have any proof of it. I've blocked a lot of it, and a lot of it happened when I was young enough that I can't remember a lot of it, thank goodness. But I believe he was one of those that uh, helped engage in the sexual abuse that I suffered when I was younger. So thumbs up. That's the only reason that I can figure that I hate him so much and hate Ed until he died. So, but I liked his name. 
and I still like the name. He adopted me. That's why I got my last name now. I like the name. Hate the man. Like the name. But uh, then she married. But yeah, I mean, he was a terrible guy. Terrible guy. I mean, I remember one of the one of my earliest. Wow. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can talk about it then. Um, I must have been like six or seven years, no, maybe a little older, maybe eight or seven, right around that age, very young. And uh, my mother was sitting in the basement. <laughs> wow, okay, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that hurt so much still. He had cheated on her and she had followed him and caught them. Wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, uh-uh. My sincere apologies. I hadn't realized how much of an open wound that still was. Wow, this is a, a total surprise. I thought that had uh, healed and scammed up long ago. Um, well, uh, my sincere apologies, Elky Smokes. <clears throat> yeah, one of my earliest memories, and uh, apparently, even at 54, it still has enough uh, pain in it for this. So, yay. Well, to uh, try and think about something else, so I can... Whoa, I am fuzzy. Come on. There. Of course, now that it unfuzzed, I'm going to uh, have to refuzz as I do this. I I hate the feeling of wet inside my nose. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm using the dry part of the tissue to wipe my eyes, not wiping my eyes with snot. Yuck. Ah, uh, my apologies. Anyway, though, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go to the um, community page again. But the community page is, of course, just um, when you have a channel, there's under community, it's there's this comments, and that just lists every single comment in chronological order, <coughs> instead of you having to go to each individual video. So I just boom, it's just now listed every single video in chronological order. But they only go like a, a page at a time, so you have to open it up, which is what I'm doing, and hitting show more. To, uh, so I'm going to have 24 hours worth of comments up. And why would I do that? Very simple. What I'm going to do is go through and thank 2225 kind commenters for having left comments to try and cheer myself up here. Holy smokes. Get the cheers out of my system there. Uh, so I'm going to thank 20 to 25. And it's a range because with my fibro, I get lost while I'm counting. So for the win. And uh, I open up this much because you want to have a large pool to choose from. So, ah, someone did have a request for some shout outs yesterday. Actually, Cold King Pin 12 yesterday said, Hey, my wife, I love you. Can I get a shout out to my wife, Janice? Hi, Janice. Cold King Pin 12. <laughs> Good morning, number one. And then Juicebox Heroes, number two. Yay! Uh, Juicebox Heroes. We're going to be hopefully collaborating soon, at least on a podcast and such. So, thumbs up on that. Uh, they emailed me. I'm waiting back for comments, and we're going to go. So, thumbs up on that. And then there is A-Z-L-E Hornet. Azel? Azel? Like Axel, except Azel. Thank you very, very much. And then there is... Meshuggahnol Gaze. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love that username. Thank you. And then there is Landis. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Ezekiel Marlowe. Now, I'm not reading the comment. I'm just thanking you for leaving the comment. Whether it's a good comment, a bad comment, and a different comment, it doesn't matter. I'm just thanking you for leaving the comment. So, thank you very much. And then there is Just Some Guy. Thank you very, very much. And then there is Claude5190. Yes, keep requesting your songs. You've gotten at least one in the past, haven't you? Maybe that'll happen again. 
the random number is a fickle creature. Random number generator. I ruined that one, didn't I? The random number generator is a fickle creature. There we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. And then there is a... There's a three instead of an E in the first part, but it would be like the God Tribute. Thank you very much. And then there is Darth Sidian. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. And Daniel Tucker. Thank you. Greatly appreciated. And Blazik, B-L-A-A-Z-I-K. Thank you very, very much. And Pandy Prime. Thank you. Greatly appreciated. Uh, Ethan Bird. Thank you. And Rainbow Sinner. That's a pretty cool name. I like that one right there. That's that's very evocative. I like that. And then there is Fish K. Kenaru That was this one? No, a fish cake and a ruto? Fish cake and a ruto. Okay, I hopefully I'm correct. Thank you very, very much. And then there is uh, I am Thunder. Thank you very much. And Joe R makes pie. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. And then there's Al Albi A L B I R E O Alberio. Something like that. Thank you very, very much. I'm sorry I can't pronounce it properly, but thank you. And then, ooh, I'm really juicy. Thank you so very much. And then there is a Bong Donkey. Thank you. And Lucas Jampen. Thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. And Skill, Skillful Skarmory. Skillful Skarmory. Thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. And then there is Sola Steve. Thank you. Alex Swayford. Swif Swafford, thank you, greatly appreciated. And Defcon PVP, thank you very, very much, greatly appreciated. And I uh, did, oh, uh, Lawson T43, thank you very, very much. Yay, thank you all so very much, greatly appreciated. It is a good thing, answering comments. In fact, uh, well, reading comments and all that. In fact, I'm doing later a uh, reading comments video so i'm going to be working on that one here as soon as i'm done with this and now i'm actually at 17 minutes i i don't know where the time has gone there's some there are some days not so many anymore where uh, after the camera turns on i'm like hard pressed to say anything after 30 seconds but right the lately it's uh, i hit like the 20 minute mark and it's like i'm i haven't even started i haven't said anything i wanted to say where did the time go I'm, I'm not giving myself time enough to wake up, I think. I mean, I woke up, you know, just an hour and a half ago now, and usually I take three hours before, I mean, I don't take three hours. I wake up like 4, 35 o'clock, like that, and so usually by the time I hit 6, 6.30, I've been up a while. So, well, but anyway, though, I'm alive. You, hopefully you're alive. If you're watching this, you hopefully are alive, unless there's been some sort of zombie apocalypse and no one told me. But if you could check some of my links down below, that would be awesome. That would be greatly appreciated. You don't have to, though. But I mean, you just click show more and boom, opens right up. Whole bunch of links. My uh, GoFundMe is still open. It's become a if you can help me continue to survive fund instead of an emergency sort of thing. That would be awesome. You'd again, again, you don't have to. It would just be nice if you could check it out at least. And if you toss me a like, that would be appreciated. I greatly, greatly appreciate all positive uh, validation for my existence. A very good thing. I imagine everybody does. Who wants negative validation for their existence? Maybe Mosicus? I don't know. Anyway, but, and then there is, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome as well. Only if you're down with it, though. Pity subscriptions, not needed or wanted. They don't help me. They don't help you. They don't help anybody. But if you are down with it, thumbs up with that. Hope to keep you as a subscriber forever and ever and ever. I would have shown you my hammies, but now I don't even have time. So, hey, I've got less than a minute left before it's a uh, full 20 minutes. Where is the time gone? Oh, my brain. It's going to be a bad day today. I can tell. Not because things are bad, but because... I can tell it's going to become 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just still going to be going, I, didn't I just get up? So it's going to be a good day. Thumbs up for that. You take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. That's a very good thing. Nope, it keeps flicking. So, uh, well, you take care. And I'll see you on the flip side. Thank you very, very much.